everyone, Mandeep Barmi here from ASA Driving School. We are MPI Certified Driving School. So in this video, we, uh, we are going to talk about uh, MPI new policy. If uh, someone failed their driving test four times, okay, if you are in Manitoba, you fail your driving test four times, then you are required to book, uh, you are required to take a two hour long in-car driving lesson before you can take your fifth uh, driving test. Now, if you fail your fifth driving test, you have to do another two hour long lesson before you can book your sixth driving test. Same thing if you fail six times, then again, you are required to do another two hour long lesson before you can book your seventh road test. Well, um, hopefully uh, you, you, know, uh, you, you won't fail that time. Uh, but um, in case, just in case, if you're new to my channel, you haven't done any driving lessons uh, with my driving school, we are MPI certified driving school. We are all located uh, in Winnipeg, Manitoba. We also have another office in uh, Edmonton, but um, this video is regarding um, Manitoba. So if you fail your driving test four times, MPI is going to give you your exam, driving examiner is going to give you this paper. Uh, okay, so driving instru instruction verification form. So you take this form to a certified driving instructor. Now it has to be certified driving instructor. Okay, so don't just take this form to a random people from Kijiji. I know they, they will charge you a little bit less, but if they cannot complete this form, um, then you're just wasting your money because they are not even certified driving instructor. All right, so you want to be careful, um, you know. Um, so yes, yeah, so go to a certified driving instructor, uh, good company do your homework um, or I can you know just give me a call or send me a text message and uh, we can complete the form after uh, doing a two hour long lesson and um, then you take that form uh, to MPI center or AutoPack broker uh, to book your next uh, driving test all right if you have any questions uh, about this uh, new policy um, let me know uh, post your questions in the comments below and if you need a copy of this uh, I will uh, put a link because you can actually uh, print this online so I will uh, put a link uh, in the description below now it's just a form okay so it's, you can print it online uh, but you won't be able to complete by yourself it has to be completed by a driving instructor all right so you take this form to a driving instructor and uh, they will give you a two hour long lesson and then you can book your uh, next turn uh, driving test all right so let's uh, let's practice a little bit as well and uh, we're gonna you know drive in a parking lot and uh, drive um, uh, drive around this neighborhood like we are in um, King Edward area if you live in Winnipeg you know where King Edward is uh, we are just behind uh, Polo Park area I have another uh, driving lesson here in uh, next 15-20 uh, minutes uh, so I will try to keep the video short not too long uh, maybe just drive around uh, you know five ten minutes and um, then uh, go for my next lesson all right, so let's get going. Um, so I'm just gonna shift into reverse, checking on both sides. Very important, before you reverse, uh, before you release the brake, you have to check on both sides, okay? So check left, right. Now, if the back end of your car is going to the right, then you wanna signal right. If the back end of your car is going to the left, then you wanna signal left. So again, checking on both sides, keeping my steering straight checking checking looking in the rear view mirror as well and now we can start turning the steering checking again looks clear and now we can stop and shift into drive and now we are uh, good to go so we're gonna exit this uh, parking lot uh, going to the left side here so um, left signal is on slowing down a little bit checking on both sides we don't need to come to a complete stop here uh, because we are still inside parking lot and there was no stop sign now we see a four-way stop sign coming up and uh, we are doing another left turn here. So left signal, do a complete stop before the stop line. Has to be a complete stop. If you're doing a rolling stop, um, that's an automatic fail. And you want to go in the first lane, like in the first available lane. Now we are turning right so I can change lane, mirror check, signal, shoulder check, turn the steering and then we go in the right lane. Now we are turning right at traffic lights. Uh, first thing you want to look at your traffic light light is red come to a complete stop then um, right turn on a red light is optional so here I don't see any prohibited sign some intersections they have a sign showing no right turn on a red light Monday to Friday or, or uh, you know any other times 
Now, but on this intersection, I don't see any prohibited sign. That means right turns on a red light on this intersection allowed if it's safe. So I come, came to a complete stop. I'm gonna go forward, creep forward. There's no pedestrian crossing. I'm checking traffic on the left-hand side, looks empty. And now we are good to go. So I will enter in the right lane first. Now I see construction sign on the right hand side showing this lane is going to end. Then I change lane to the left. And uh, from this traffic light, we are uh, turning, uh, sorry, we are going straight. Um, there's some construction going on on the right hand side. Um, there is a sign showing no right turn, but that sign is only for trucks. Uh, we are driving a very small car, so I can go right if I want. Uh, but there's, uh, since uh, there's construction, uh, let's not go there. Um, otherwise, we will just get stuck in the construction. Um, so we will go straight uh, from this intersection. Um, so again, everyone, uh, we are in, uh, do, doing this video in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. And um, if you guys need a driving lesson in Winnipeg, Manitoba, give me a call, send me a text message. Number is 204-509-4175. We also have uh, different locations, um, you know, um, in different uh, province as well. So if you're new to my channel, you can subscribe to my channel um, to watch um, other videos as well. So we are posting videos pretty much um, every day. Light on screen, I check left, right, looks clear, and now we can go. When the light on screen, it's important to check left and right because you want to make sure the cross traffic has stopped. Uh, from this, uh, intersection we are still going straight speed limit is uh, 50 kilometers maximum looking at my speed and I'm also maintaining distance from the car in front of me you don't want to go too close to the other traffic okay uh, because that's um, that's a mistake like it's a minor mistake for sure but uh, it depends on the situation. Um, it could be um, automatic fail as well. So this uh, traffic light, we will be turning left. Now we are still a little bit far from the intersection, so I'm not gonna put the signal on yet. When you're about 30 meters from the intersection, that's when you signal. 30 meter is uh, approximately 100 feet. Okay, so when you stop behind another vehicle, uh, you should be able to see the back tires on the ground. Now that's just a reference point. Sometimes I get, you know, a uh, very tall student. Um, they can pull up super close to the other car and then still see the back tires. So it's just a, it's not a rule, okay? It's just a reference point that we give to students um, to make their life easy. Um, so you, you wanna go by the distance, okay? So your distance has to be between like about 10 feet. So the light turns green and uh, we are good to go. So now I can put the signal on. Now I see a sign on the left hand side showing it's a one way street. And now the green arrow is uh, already gone. So that means um, I have to go in the intersection and establish. Now since uh, it's a one way street, I don't go too far in the intersection because I have to turn in the first available lane lot of people actually fail on this turn because uh, they don't look at the signs they don't realize it's a one-way street and uh, they end up taking um, the second lane or the far lane 